What's going on my kitsunes? It's your paper Tail Fox Foxy come back at you with a brand new series here on the Foxy Car YouTube channel. And in today's brand new series, we're going to be playing the original city skylines out here. We're actually going to be building the um, Zara Carrion Atoll region. And yes, this is going to be a region project. It's something I wanted to do in City Skylines 1 for a while. Didn't really um, get much ground on completing anything before um, City Skylines 2 dropped, so... We're definitely going to make that change here today, but anyways, you can see me making the bridge first for I-995, of course. You know, trying to make sure that all the, um, all the bridge stuff is kind of like, you know, done correctly and whatnot. I'm like 99% sure there's supposed to be boats going under that bridge as well, so, um, yeah, it's kind of why I, you know, made that bridge go a little bit higher out here. I'll have to take a look, actually, at what the boats, boat, like, you know lines of the map actually look like because i know the bridges will try to conform with them as much as possible of course you know silly me at the start of the episode also forgetting to enable anarchy but one thing i didn't forget to do was um start work on the first interchange and by the way yes this is going to be our entire focus this is going to be the entire focus of the first episode out here obviously you can see me struggling with the ramp up to the interchange actually i kind of just realized that this is kind of really stupid because um I don't know why um, zero meters means like, you know, one or two meters above sea level, but I, I'm not the one that programmed this game, quite frankly. This is my first time using big roads, and I actually forgot to install the USRP interstate pack, so yeah, it's going to be my first time kind of like not using that. I'm definitely going to change that out, though, in the um, next episode, but I'm also going to be doing a lot of those upgrades off camera. I feel like it's going to make a hell of a lot more sense out here, too, so yeah, just figured I'd put that out there. But anyways, right now you can actually see me getting the idea on what the first interchange is going to look like. And I think it actually does look pretty cool out here. Obviously, I'm still trying to figure a few things out. Trying to see if I can make this a um, ground level highway. Unfortunately, though, um, I don't think that was really possible, being realistic here. But I did eventually decide to make it elevated for the exit ramps. I feel like that actually made a little bit of sense out here. And on top of that, too, we got the beach like right over there. I'm pretty sure the land would be... Um, a bit on the unstable side right there because we're on an atoll literally just a little bit well actually not even just a little bit east of miami we're like 20 miles out in the atlantic ocean we got you have to cross like a giant bridge just to get here well not 20 miles 20 kilometers out here i'm actually gonna make this highway use kilometers because i feel like it makes a little bit more sense and plus i do this all the time in city building games and yes we do the signage as well too but we don't do any of the one kilometer or 500 meter signage for the highway You'll see what I'm doing a little bit later. I think I only did the exit now signs because at this point, the exits are like really far apart. So I do kind of want to put that out there as well. But yeah, it actually is, as I said, going to be a really interesting project out here. We got the highway exit coming along over here pretty nicely. Of course, you know, I had to change a few things using the intersection marking tool. And the chevrons also didn't really want to work correctly either. I kind of had to mess around with that, which was a bit of a pain. But eventually, I did finally get it working out here, which I think does look pretty nice out here. Oh, yeah, and I also decided to um, make the highway look a little bit nicer, too. Obviously, it was a little bit more challenging than I first thought. I am pretty happy with the results that I ended up getting here. But at the same time, it's like, oh, man, why, why did I do this to myself? I could have just used the USRP interstate pack out here. That probably would have been just fine. I will say one thing I do appreciate City Skylines 2 for is making this, uh, like, you know, interchange stuff mountains easier out here because, um, Cities 1, I completely forgot just how challenging actually building a smooth exit ramp really is. It is just crazy, like, you know, what we gotta deal with in City Skylines 1. Like, you gotta use Move It, you gotta use a whole bunch of other tools, it's gonna look like trash 9 times out of 10 because you could never place it precisely. So, yeah, that's definitely fun. But anyways, right now we're currently making the um, other exit ramps. I'm also kind of like moving the um, bridge stuff over here too because, well, you, you kind of have to, unfortunately. Again, we're using exit ramps out here, so yeah, it's going to be fun. And also, I did decide to kind of like, you know, mess around with that side of the bridge as well. Even though we're not really supposed to be working on that side of the bridge very much out here. I still got to get the slopes looking smooth. Got to make them interstate standard if you're catching what I'm saying out here. But anyways, we also got a few other things going on right now currently working on the other side of the exit ramps and you can actually see the effects of me um doing everything completely wrong on that one side out there so um yeah that was fun out here that was kind of fun to deal with but anyways right now we got a few other things going on as i said before we got you know more exit ramps and stuff like that to place i'm not really sure why i chose not to copy paste this i mean i could have avoided spending the entire episode on the um i-995's first interchange but i guess i just chose to um be stupid i guess so yeah this was kind of fun oh and there's also this weird glitch with these roads too i don't know if this is a um 
kind of like a bug in intersection marking tool, I want to say. I don't know if this is something like that. But in some instances, it will not show the road markings for somewhere reason. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why it does that at times. But I guess, you know, someone, I guess, like, you know, the game just decides whether or not it wants to show them. But yeah, anyways, we're fixing up the chevrons out here. And you already know I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to remember to actually copy paste them. I forget whether or not I did this here. Even though I recorded this literally just this morning, it is the 26th at the time I'm recording this. So I'm doing this so that, you know, YouTube members and Patreon patrons can kind of like, you know, get early access out here. And I, I keep forgetting to upload to the Patreon, which is not good. I need to stop doing that. So if this finds its way to the Patreon out here, hi, um, sorry for forgetting about you guys over there. I, I want to apologize for that, actually, but... Nevertheless, out here too, I'm still pretty happy with what I've got right here. And if you too want to receive early access out here too, I still need to fix the YouTube description so you guys can actually join the Patreon out here because I'm supposed to technically encourage that over YouTube memberships, even though um, YouTube would probably not like me doing that. Listen, okay, make your cut a little bit hot. Make your cut beat Patreons out there, YouTube, and then we'll freaking talk, okay? Then we'll talk. But until then, you know, I, I have to encourage the one that's going to give you the bigger bag out here, if you will. But anyways, right now we're currently adding some decals for the exits. I'm actually kind of thinking of adding some interstate decals as well to them. I mean, this is supposed to be I-995, and it's literally being built like this just so I could complete the set of um, 95 auxiliary routes. I was originally also going to make this exit 34. I'm not really sure why, but I ultimately decided on exit 28 instead. Yeah, that, that definitely feels like it would work a lot nicer out here. And of course, you know, given this procedural objects, I kind of have to um, make the sign and everything like that out here. Eventually, I did kind of decide to do the um, gantry out here. And the gantry, like, move it in general, or not move it, procedural objects with that is generally pretty tough. But once you get the gantry working, I think you can actually make some pretty interesting things out here too. I was also going to put some, what was it again? some like palm trees in the middle of the highway but unfortunately the prop line tool for trees still does not work i'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it it just coughs up an error storm effectively so more likely than not i'm going to have to um place the trees manually or i could do something else entirely with the highways i don't know what were your guys' suggestions be? but anyways right now we got um florida route 195 for the city of starla which is going to be off this exit it's actually named for a um fictional character actually i do that quite a lot now that i think about it and obviously, I kind of challenge you guys to figure this one out here because it's actually a little bit obscure. But anyways, we're starting to um, we're starting to get to the end of this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my sign offs. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night, no matter where in the world.